Tenko Shimura fights back, Nejire's past is revealed, and Tamaki finally awakens to true potential of his quirk. Let's talk about all of this and more as we dive right into the newest chapter of My Hero Academia. So My Hero Academia Chapter 361 is finally out, and with it we get to see UA's Big Tree continue their desperate dash to hold back the Prince of Villainy, Shigaraki. And this time, all three of our heroes really do get their time to shine. But before I begin talking about this chapter, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button and slide on into that subscribe button's DMs to hit that notification bell. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into My Hero Academia Chapter 361, titled Abnormal Happy. Happenings. This chapter opens up inside of the Vestige world in Shigaraki, where we see none other than a small Tenko Shimura surrounded by hands, who is after waking up after hearing Mirio's words in the real world about how Shigaraki has no friends. Mirio's comment actually causes Tenko to take control of Shigi's body for a split second, where he angrily cries out that he has been told he's really nice by Miku and Tomo and his dog Mon loves to go on walks with him, so of course, he has real friends. This outburst really catches Mirio by surprise, who with a shocked expression apologizes to Shigaraki about his comment. However, immediately after apologizing, Mirio barely dodges a massive attack from Shigaraki as All For One takes back control over Shigi's body. While avoiding this attack, Mirio thinks about how his comment really hit a nerve, and that he shouldn't rile up Shiggy like that again. And he also notes that Shiggy's actual body is far tougher than the massive appendages that spring out of him, as not a single one of their attacks have been able to break through the outermost layer of his skin. It's also during this attack, Shigaraki reveals that his mind is splitting once again. However, this time it's not because of Shigaraki or All For One, as their consciousnesses have fully been assimilated, revealing that Although All For One and Shigaraki have fully combined consciousness, the consciousness of the innocent Tenko Shimura is still alive inside him and fighting. Realizing this, Shigaraki decides that he can't mess around any longer. He has to end this fight now, once and for all. So he turns away from Mirio, who he claims is nothing more than a distraction, and focuses attention right back to Bakugo and Besh Genist, who are still laying on the ground dealing with their severe injuries. Injuries. Mirio, angry about Shigaraki ignoring him, thinks back to the Big Tree's plan of action. How Nejire and Tamaki would initially distract Shigaraki so Mirio could sneak in and save Bakugo. However, it is here where Mirio also thinks about phase 2 of this plan. How he was supposed to distract Shigaraki by fighting him up close long enough so Tamaki can get his power ready to actually deal some damage. The story then cuts back to Shigaraki viciously marching towards Best genist and Bakugo, declaring that it looks like this super-powered floating facility they built with the sole purpose of defeating him will ironically be the very place he puts them down. So they have just ended up building their own coffin. But before Shigaraki can reach Bakugo and Genist, however, he is interrupted by Nejire, who sends a barrage of energy waves at Shigi in the hopes of giving Tamaki a little more time for his power. During this barrage, Nejire begins to think about her past, where we see a more closed off, serious Nejire sitting at her desk alone in UA. Here, her inner monologue reveals that Nejire didn't have any friends growing up, as despite her best efforts to get to know people, everyone assumed due to her amazing power that she was stuck up and thought she was better than everyone else. Basically, because of her powerful quirk, everyone assumed that she would just be like Bakugo, and they didn't want to be friends with her. Although, upon entering UA, there was one person who did want to be friends with her, and that person was Tamaki. And so, Tamaki and Edre became friends, and it's because of this friendship that Nejire admits she got the chance to become friends with Mirio and the others, and she also became much stronger than she ever thought she could. And with this, Chapter 316 comes to an end, as both Nejire and Mirio think to themselves how Tamaki's true power takes a lot of time to unleash. But it's a power with absolute limitless potential, and so they
they both think to themselves how the only person who can do some meaningful damage in this fight is none other than Sun Eater. As we see this horrifyingly amazing image of Tamaki unleashing his true ultimate move, which is a combination of an insane amount of food he has eaten and is so long it doesn't even fit correctly on the page. Just know Tamaki's fusing every food he has eaten into one ultimate attack. Overall, this was another pretty great chapter. Tenko finally jumping forward and showing that he's still inside and fighting in the Vestige world was cool to see, especially since Mirio was the one who brought him out. You know, the other person who's considered the closest to being like All Might to the number one hero other than Midoriya. And seeing the big tree step up and show off what they can do has been amazing. I also really like the fact that it was revealed Tamaki is the real foundation of the trio. Both Mirio and Edgeray agree that not only is he the strongest, but he's ironically the most welcoming of the bunch. And to see him use his quirk to the fullest is something I'm really looking forward to. To be honest, I can't wait to see what happens next. But let me know what you think of this chapter. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment what you think is going to happen next. For more My Hero content, subscribe to the Lunchtime Crew. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.